Okay, so it's like approximately five and a half hours later. I'm really tired. Um, probably about to go to sleep after I make this video. But um, so yeah, this is my hair straight. Um, you can see it kind of looks like a uh, kind of like a bowl cut <laughs> a little bit. It definitely needs to be cut in like a style, but because I um, I don't wear my hair straight often. Like I said in my other video, I'm not going to cut my hair until it, the summer has gone through so it has a chance to grow out. Because if I cut it now, I would want it in layers. And when you do layers, you you know, you, you kind of, you, you use the shortest piece of hair as a guide. And right now, like, this is my shortest piece of hair. And I would want my hair, my whole head a lot longer than this. So I want my, I guess, my bang to grow out a lot longer before I uh, get anything cut um so yeah so this is my hair this is after eight months of transitioning five months not five months good grief five weeks of being 100 percent natural um so i'm just kind of documenting this and i'll probably do another video in a couple months maybe two months because as i said five and a half hours putting heat to my hair is not something i want to do often but um so yeah, it doesn't have like the bounce that I want, but um, it's okay. It's cool. Um, I might try using different products next time, but I will say that the uh, the Con Air, the uh, the curling iron, it worked really good. Like the uh, the oh my god, I'm so tired. The uh, Infinity uh, ceramic. Tornaline, tornaline, I forgot, I forgot how to pronounce it now. Wait, there's a box. Tormoline. Yeah, that curling iron worked really good. Like, I didn't even, I didn't flat iron my hair. I just used the curling iron instead because literally I uh, did not feel like going through all that. <laughs> Crazy. Um, the blow dryer, I mean, the blow dryer worked okay. Wasn't anything too special with the blow dryer, but I'm, I'm going to keep it because the blow dryer I have now is really old, so it's it's about past its due anyway. Um, so yeah, so the curling iron and really, really worked nicely. Um, I'm going to try, probably try to find a different kind of heat protectant, maybe a serum, because I, I really miss the bounce that my hair had when it was, um, relaxed. Um, and because my hair is natural and thicker, I, I really want to, you know, see my hair move in the wind, as they say. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to document my hair length. Here's, here's like my, my bang part, I guess. So it comes uh, midway to my nose, uh, my side. I can't really get the side view of it. it. Comes about to my chin. Almost to my chin. The back is, you know, short and I really can't. It's a little past my neck. It's a little past the neck. And, um, yeah. So, this is, this is my hair straightened. Uh, and, ooh, and I wanted to share a story. I found it hilarious that um, I was I was watching, I forget whose video it was, uh, a couple days ago, she was saying how, you know, when you have natural hair, you attract kind of a higher quality of man. <laughs> no. So a couple days, yesterday, I think, yeah, it was yesterday, I was waiting at the bus stop, and this guy came up to me, and the first thing he said was, I really like your hair. So I'm like, ooh, maybe I met one of these, you know, higher level brethren, you know. <laughs> no. He definitely told me his life story. He was being very honest, which I appreciate it. But um, he definitely just got out of jail. The only reason he got out of jail is because he was deemed mentally incompetent or he had some like emotional distress or just emotional issues. He's seeing a therapist now. He's not working because he's getting disability for his mental condition. Um, the only thing he does is sit at home and smoke and drink and kick it with his friends and like write rhymes or something like that. These are the kind of men that I've been attracting since I hit puberty. Like, 
it, it's really scary. I, I was always, I, I was thinking, I'm like, if I was one of them girls that were like, who always attracted really decent men before I went natural and then that guy came up to me, I would be very distraught. But luckily, well, not, not luckily, but, you know, these are the kind of men that I've always attracted. So it, it, I just want to put a disclaimer out there for the women who might have watched that video where she was saying that, um, you know, having natural hair, you attract better quality men. It, 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 I'm sure it's true for a lot of women, but if, if you tend to attract the kind of man that I just said, just uh, just talked about, then you might still attract those kind of men, even if you do go natural. But, again, like I said, I, I've, I've always, there's something about me that brings men who have no jobs, no, 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 no kind of goals, um, for the future, um, no nothing. Uh, some, a lot of times, no teeth too. And it was really funny because the guy smiled at me, and his uh, his canine was missing. <sighs> but yeah, no. So I just wanted to talk about that really fast. So I found it really funny, and I just watched her video a couple days ago, and then the next day the guy came up to me, <laughs> trying to holler with a missing canine and no job and mental issues, and a, and a jail history. It's really sad. But anyway, so yeah, I'll probably be coming um, with a few more videos before I straighten my hair again just to uh, update you on any products I've come across that might work really well. Um, so yes, I guess I will see you all again sometime. Bye.